Happy holidays, everyone. Remember to drink your Ovaltine. So, the Abyssrium Christmas update is out for, I think, for everyone. They do these stupid slow rollouts, but it seems to have finally been released for everyone. Uh, but first, I'd like to show you a little something. Uh, I should really show this off more often, but if you really just want the hidden fish and stuff, I make guides on my website here. Uh, you can just open up, go to sirtaptap.com. And a lot of people ask, oh, you should make an app. You should make an app for mobile stuff. And I actually do have an app. The way you install is you go to this little three dots menu while you're on sirtaptap.com, and there'll be a little add to home screen button here. Um, for some reason, in Knox Player, that doesn't work. Um, it works on pretty much any major phone. It works on iPhones. It works on any m even slightly recent version of Android. Um, it should work on even like Windows devices, Windows phone. Um, but yeah, there'll be a little add to home screen button. And it even has offline caching. So if you open up this guide um, and, you know, lose connection, but you still want to, you know, see how to do the hidden fish, you can um, still open up the little app that'll just put a little Sir Tap Tap icon on your thing, and you can just search right from there. And any page that you've opened is already cached offline. It's a pretty cool feature, so try that out. I really recommend the written guides over video guides. I don't like video guides myself. Whenever I get lost, I use the uh, the hidden guide or the the written guide. So if you saw my live stream, I was a little bit more down on this event than it might have deserved. Um, with the full release, several things changed, which is so weird. They do these slow rollouts, and th this rollout was like really bad and did not represent the product very well. Um, part of it's just them being confusing as heck as always. But when it first came out, the Halloween tank locked immediately. And the way it works now is that you have a seven day timer, six day, seven day, whatever timer on the... Uh, on the Halloween thing. So you still have a few days to get the owl and I'll finish up what you want in the Halloween thing. After that timer expires, there'll be a thing where you can watch an ad to get 30 minutes access for a single day. Um, you, have, you can only watch one ad for 30 minutes of access per day. Otherwise, you have to buy with pearls, a season pass they call it. Uh, it's 150 pearls for 30 days of access. So, could be worse, could be a lot better in my opinion. It should just unlock it if you play during the event and then add an option to like permanently unlock it if you if you missed it, right? But basically the, the Halloween thing, it's not going away yet. Um, you still have a few days to get it. And it doesn't matter if you don't update or not. Um, that, that timer will probably, um, yeah, I, I would just update at this point because yeah. Um, so the Christmas thing is, um, if you played the Halloween event, you understand what it works like for the most part. Um, there are hidden fish. Uh, let me explain how the event works, God damn it! first. Um, all of the new fish are hidden. All of the old fish have requirements, the 2016, 2018, or 17 fish. They'll be listed in here with requirements. Um, only the new ones are hidden. So the old ones you can get as you go along. You gotta progress through these quests and stuff to unlock um, the coral of the event, which are like the tree, chocolate fondue, hot spring, all this kind of crap. And um, with this style of event, idle vitality is strongly encouraged. It's very important to do your idle vitality. So that's a very big change. And every time you come back to get your idle vitality, the first few clicks on the, um, the first few clicks on Kennedy are multiplied by like a thousand fold. Like it's ridiculous and it's completely unlisted. It never tells you that it does this. Uh, but basically the way to play the event best is to let the game idle for about three hours, come back, um, get your idle vitality and click a bunch of, um, click these, uh, uh, the candy things until it stops having an increased amount. Like, it would probably pop up with N, because that's the most that I have right now, instead of M. And then it eventually goes back. And again, this is completely undocumented and ridiculous. And also, you always want to buy fish. If you can buy a fish, you need to buy a fish. Um, because when you buy fish in these kind of events, it doesn't say that it does this, but it multiplies the amount of candy that you get. So the basic cycle is use candy, get candy from fish. Use candy to upgrade the coral, quote-unquote. Use the crab to dance, and every time the crab dances, you get even more candy. And then, from the, the coral, you get vitality to buy fish, 
buying fish gets you more candy and so and so if you don't buy the candy or if you don't buy if you don't upgrade coral you're gonna have a bad time you're gonna it's not gonna work that's how the event works you have to buy fish um, there is a certain amount of each kind of fish that you're gonna need to get for certain event things don't worry about it too much um, but there is a list in my guide of you know how much you're gonna need but uh, let's just dive straight into the hidden fish unlocks now so got these up on my site here the cookie angel fish you need to tap candy from snowflake angels five times pretty easy and then you need to don't do anything for one hour uh, this there's always people who this doesn't work for uh, I don't have any particular solution other than plug your phone in leave the game on in the Christmas tank with the screen on do not let the screen turn off um, if your phone is plugged in and abyssrium is open it should not turn off um, but if the screen turns off or if you go to other games or stuff, this doesn't work. And some people just seem to have problems. I don't know if they have trouble following the directions or if it just is buggy. Um, I could believe either one because this game is very, very buggy. Oops, we're... I just don't speak a little bit of a black edge around the thing. Let's fix... There we go. So yeah, that, that might not work for some people. And if it doesn't, that's, that's unfortunately all I have to tell you. Um... Concierge Seahorse, you need level 4,500 Happy House on the Hill, which is one of the coral, quote unquote, that you unlock. So for a lot of these, you're just going to need to progress through the main event, go do the quests and stuff, and a lot of the old fish will unlock, and some of the new fish will require um, a fairly high thing. This will take 4,000 Happy House on the Hill is fairly high. It'll take you a couple days, probably, at least. Um, then you need to share the Christmas Plaza card of the Sock Seahorse. So what that means is... Do I have a Sock Seahorse in here? Let's just buy one. Um, what it means by Christmas card, every time you complete a quest, you unlock a Christmas card. And Christmas cards, every time you take a picture of a fish, or if you focus on a fish, you'll get this little icon. And then you can make a Christmas card. So for the Country of the Seahorse, you need Christmas Plaza, which I don't have yet. The new, the 2018 unlocks are pretty high. This is basically the opposite of the Halloween event. In the Halloween event, the uh, old fish were insanely hard to get and the new fish were moderately easy. In this one, you have to be pretty late game to get the new unlocks. Like you'll probably have like the last coral before you start unlocking more than a couple of the new fish. So that's the concierge seahorse. Let's just go back in here. Rudolph Octopus. This is the first one you can get, by the way. He's the third one listed. Well, you can get the cookie angelfish, but only if you're willing to wait for an hour, which I was not. Honey, please. Um, so the Rudolph Octopus, I guess it shows on screen there. You need to tap candy from octopus 100 times. That's anything with octopus in the name in this tank. So the Bell's Dumbo Octopus and Christmas Dumbo Octopus both count. You take five pictures of the Cookie Express with the white Christmas on, and take five pictures of Santa Express. Now what the heck does that mean, you may ask? So, Santa Express is this train, and then after you get the Happy House on the Hill, this other train unlocks. And he's having some difficulties. He's having some technical difficulties. But you have to basically use both of the skills and then take five pictures. So, the thing with the skills is, um... You actually get a free trial of the skills every day, so you do not need to spend pearls to unlock fish this time, unlike last time, which is a huge relief. Uh, initially, and when I first did the stream, I thought you could only watch one ad. There was like a one-time free trial. These free trials are once per day, so you can totally get all of the unlocks just from the free trials. And by free trials, you know, it does have an ad. But uh, let me watch, you know, let me indulge in this capitalism real quick and uh, then we'll, then I'll show you how to do the unlock. Hey kids, remember not to waste stockings on Thursdays. Thanks Father Scallop, thanks for t protecting us from the capitalism. There we go. So I've done both ad things and I like that you can get these from ads now because like, it adds some nice ambiance to the, to the tank when you view these, but like spending a hundred pearls, which is like, I think it's a few dollars worth of pearls. Uh, it's not cheap. You get a 15 minute thing, and basically when you get your 15 minute thing, you're gonna wanna take and quote unquote share. You can do a fake share where you just open the share menu and then just immediately cancel back out. 
Um, do that five times and there's several things that you need to take pictures of. So there's both trains, take five, take and share five pictures of both trains. So that's this train over here. Then there is the this tower here. Then there's a couple houses here. You take five pictures of each of these. There's one over here. Then there's one in the back here. And there's another one over here. So you need to take and share five pictures of both of, of all of those. Uh, various unlocks require those. So just do those all in one go. And then there'll be some other ones you have to mop up later. Um, there's uh buh, 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 buh. like Santa Squid requires some. It's just it'll just save you some time later on. But like I said, you can get those 15 minutes uh, once per day from the free trial, and randomly you can get them from the Christmas gift box, which I'll discuss in a minute here. Um, so yeah, don't don't worry too much about that. But it, you'll save yourself a little bit of time if you do all that in one go. Um, so next is the Santa Squid. You need to share the Nutcracker Dream Christmas card, which again, that's another one of those Christmas cards. Share a photo and then use the uh, click the Christmas card button. Uh, you need to do that with the Rudolph Octopus. So this, you have to unlock the Rudolph Octopus to get this guy. Doesn't he look a little creepy, by the way? Then you need to take five photos, the front left side home with White Christmas on. Again, that's just why we took all those pictures in one go. Um, that'll solve a lot of these requirements without, you know, having to mess with them too much. Uh, take one photo of train platform, which again, needs White Christmas on. Uh, pajamas Chick. I don't fully understand why some of these are quote-unquote Christmas animals, but... Um, Christmas Chick, level 5,500 Snowman's Nest, which again is one of those coral things. You just need to go through the, the whole set of quests. And uh, the quests... If you didn't play Halloween, the quests are just over here in this quest tab. It tells you what you need to do next, and you need to do, you know, you need to do this thing before you unlock this thing. It's all listed there. If you want to see all the requirements, it's in my written guide, but it, since it's in the game, I'm not really going to go over it in the video, because the video will be like 10 hours long. Um, so back to the pajamas chick. So need to unlock 5,000, level 5,500 snowman's nest. Share jolly penguin card with the concierge seahorse. So again, this is one that requires another hidden fish. Uh, the Jolly Penguin is one of the earlier unlocks for the for the Christmas cards. And you need to touch bubbles from any fish 1,500 times. So that's a fair amount of times. But there's a bunch of other requirements that require tapping bubbles. So you'll probably get it eventually. Um, again, that's a good thing for um, Nox Player, which lets you use macros in the game. Just search for tap tap Nox. And I have a video explaining how to use that. If you got a PC or Mac, you can use that. Uh, Pajamas Otter, use Miracle of Christmas 100 times, that is the crab skill, you know, if you, uh, basically 100 times of watching ads. Uh, slightly less bad than Halloween stuff, but yeah, that's, you have to cast this thing and you get candy from the crab. No candy from the Halloween event or anything carries over. They, they finally boiled that frog and yes, all of your candy was useless, that was pretty obvious with the Halloween event, but just to confirm, yeah, all of your candy is forfeit. Um, yeah, use Miracle of Christmas 100 times for the Otter. Level 5000 Snow Globe Tower, which is again another one of those coral. Then you take 5 photos of Santa Squid with Santa Express active. And since Santa Squid requires that other thing, you know, you're gonna need to do that probably on another day. Watch another free trial of Santa Express. Uh, but since you can do that once per day, it's not a big deal. Rudolph Dugong. There we go. Look at that nice, ugly sweater. Uh, collect 200 candy from dolphins. Own five Rudolph octopi. Own five Santa squid. So you basically need like five of every new fish. So keep that in mind. Uh, Cookie Ray. Bring him up here. Cookie Ray, level 1000 snow globe tower. Take a photo of Rudolph Ray five times while using the white Christmas magic. Share Christmas Plaza card with Cookie Angel Fish. That's another one of those. That's one of the later quests unlocks that. Uh, Santa Alligator, who, like I said during the live stream, looks like he's got like a sack of orphans on his back there to go home and eat. Look at how happy he is. That's not present happy. That's I got away with eating orphans happy. Anyway, um, for the Santa Alligator, you need Miracle of Christmas level 15. Own five Pajama Otters, own five Rudolph Dugongs. Like I said, just buy five of each of the new ones, basically. And to upgrade the level, the, the Miracle of Christmas, you kind of just go here. 
and I'm just gonna upgrade it. You, you, you get about as many gems from doing all the quests as you need to spend on it. It is a little bit annoying to need so many, especially kind of upfront. But you do have to upgrade the crab skill to level um, to level 20 for this freaking event, which I think is kind of crazy considering the price. I think they could max it at 10, and that would be more reasonable. But yeah, as you can see, I don't even have enough gems yet. I haven't finished all of the quests yet, but I don't even have enough gems to do that. Even after getting all the gems from last event, so it's, it's a lot. I think the gems that you get cover from the quests cover the amount that you need to spend at least roughly but yeah all right so next is the riding christmas whale um if you're a penguin i don't recommend getting that close to a, a killer whale but you know video games uh to get that you need to use the crab scale 200 times which again basically watch 200 ads um, I believe that is the most that you need to watch it though, so instead of having a one that requires 500 watching ads, it's 200, so it is a little bit better than the Halloween event. Uh, crab skill level 20 is required, so again, that's a lot of gems, but you get them from the quests. And own 5 Santa alligators. The, the unlock requirements are extremely uncreative in this event. Um, like 90% of them are own 5x, use crab skill y times, Level of crab skill is Z. Um, collect candy. It's it's all the same crap. I, I find my favorite thing was the, the the weird stuff that you had to do to unlock the hidden fish, and now it's all really boring, samey stuff. So I, I am pretty disappointed in that regard. Uh, Cookie whale, snow globe tower, level five thousand. Acquire five snowflake whale. Um, I don't know which snowflake whale. There's two snowflake whales, by the way. Um, there's one from 2016, 2017. <laughs> And they're named the exact same. So when I find that out for sure, I'll, I'll post that in the written guide. And then you need to tap whale bubbles 50 times, you know, the little candy bubble above their head. And that's a little bit annoying. The, the way to do that is to like, you know, go to manage, store all, and then take out, you know, all of your fish. In fact, hmm, I think. I think the 2016 snowflake whale has been removed. So I guess there's only one. Never mind then. I guess there's only the 2017 one. That is weird. Huh. Yeah, the 2016 one is just not here. I guess because they had the same name and they didn't want to be confusing, which the correct solution to that is to give them a different name. But, you know, it's okay to be stupid, I guess. Uh, whatever. Weird. And since somebody in the comments will say, well, it was an in-app purchase, fish tap tap. No, it wasn't. I mean, it was, but the, you could get it without doing the in-app purchase. That was that was one of the that was one of the few fish that you could get it through in-app purchase or just playing the event. And I think 99% of people just got it through playing the event. Um, yeah, people always try to correct me on that, and <laughs> no. Um, anyway, uh, still a couple more. So, Christmas Town Turtle which is the big boy, kind of like the, um, the witch house football fish was last year. He is very big and you need to own 49 unique kinds of fish. And you, then you need to share the silent night card with the cookie whale. I believe 49 is about, that's everything minus the in-app purchase fish, the Christmas thing, and um, actually I think that's about it. There's, and there's also the cookie, uh, the, the corgi that requires ridiculous amounts of crap. I'll get to the corgi in a second here. See, so yeah, this is basically just everything below that fish. Um, then, um, so that's all the hidden fish. Other than there are some like semi-hidden fish, like the Santa lobster. There's a bunch of fish that you get from opening the Christmas gift. And what the Christmas gift is, I hate that the close button doesn't work there. Uh, what the Christmas gift is here, uh, where did the train go? Hi, Parker. Um, the train, which is not on screen because of the stupid Santa Express is active. There it is. Um, if you click the gift in the train, you can watch ads. Oh, here we go. Get rewards. Um, I already got that. But this uses your vitality, by the way. It quote unquote gives you a gift, but it's actually just using your vitality to make a fish. And it apparently doesn't work if you don't have the vitality to make a fish. So keep that in mind. You you won't get the reward from the Christmas thing if you don't have the vitality, which is so stupid. 
Um, but anyway, you, you click the Christmas gift, and basically two times a day, you can watch an ad to open a gift. I don't think it technically qualifies as a gift if you have to watch an ad to get it. It's like, hey, give me $10, and I'll give you a gift worth $10. It's, it's a gift. It's a present. You, you, you can't spurn that. You can't put, turn that down. Come on. You know, just give me the 10 bucks, and I'll give you a present. I think it's just, you know, an exchange of goods and services, but whatever. So yeah, basically, there's a bunch of these you have to just watch ads uh, twice per day to get. Uh, you can you can spend 30 gems or 30 pearls to open boxes. Don't do that, in my opinion. It's just a waste of pearls. Um, but the ones you can get from that are... Um, some of them are from the old event, in fact. Um, I have a list of those. Hold on. This event is so complicated. I'm sorry. It's a little bit... Infos here and there. Um, scrolling through my crap here. Uh, Christmas train fish. So there's the baby penguin at six boxes. There is the um, Santa lobster, which is new, at 12 boxes. There's the walrus at 18 boxes. Oh, they're all right here. There's the elf frog, who is pretty creepy, at 24 boxes. So again, these aren't really hidden, so I guess I don't really need to explain these, but... Emperor Penguin, 30 boxes. Rudolph Seahorse and Cookie, 36. The, the developers do not seem to know what gingerbread is, but whatever. Um, Polar Bear, 42 times. Rudolph, 50 times, with his creepy little gnome Santas. And um, then Corgi Santa Claus is semi-hidden. You have to open 150 presents to get that. That is 75 days worth of free presents. And if you got Corgi Santa Claus last year, I would honestly recommend just forgetting that you can get it this year. It's such a pain in the butt. It's a huge amount of stuff. Um, in theory, from using the season pass, you could get it. You know, it's just a lot of waiting and watching ads, which is basically all this game is at this point, is waiting and watching ads. I mean, arguably that's all it ever was, but it's gotten more and more egregious as time goes on. And then, oddly, the Corgi family lists question marks. Um, this is the in-app purchase fish, but it lists question marks, which in the past, when an in-app purchase fish has listed question marks instead of saying buy the X package, um, there's been a secret extra unlock. Like with the Corgi, with the baby Corgi, there was a weird, complicated way of unlocking it in the uh, anniversary events. And so I don't know if there's a way to get that yet. If there, if we do figure out a way, I'll do a video on it. Otherwise, it's not required it's for the um, neither the Corgi family nor the Corgi Santa Claus are required for the big boy, the um, the Christmas Town Turtle. So don't worry about those. You're not required to get them to unlock the quote unquote last fish. But basically, since you're waiting, you'll be waiting 25 days for Rudolph. Um, so that's about how long the event takes, so don't worry too much about speeding through it. Like I said, Idle Vitality is king. The way you really want to play the game is get in here, buy as many fish as you, you know, as you need for things. Like, what do I need? I need, I need five of each new fish, so I'm gonna buy some Santa Squid. Buy all the fish you can, use all the candy you can, upgrade all of your stuff, get any hidden unlocks you can, and then close the game, wait for three hours, come back, get your idle vitality, buy a fish if you can, and then after you come back after three hours, for some weird reason, the candy is supercharged from the fish and you'll get way crazy amounts of candy. Um, just actively staying here and watching ads for the, the crab actually gives you less candy than waiting for three hours and getting those bonus things. I know it sounds weird, but it is so much faster to play this idly and check it only at most every three hours than it is to try to actively play. They really want, for some reason, the devs just got really upset that people would finish the events quickly and like have fun and like enjoy themselves. So they decided it needs to be really slow. So basically don't play it too much. You know, that's a fun way to design a game, right? You want to play our game? Here's how you play. Don't play the game. Bye cool gameplay but you know this is also a game where you know there's always a fish that you unlock by not playing the game for an hour which is super fun so i don't even i don't even know but yeah only open it every three hours get your idle stuff 
and then pretty much ignore it because you got to wait 25 days for the Rudolph anyway. So pretty, <laughs> pretty boring. But you at least have seven more days to go through the um, through the Halloween thing. And again, like this one, there'll probably be a timer once Christmas is about to end. Probably be about a month. They usually are. And then I guess these tanks just stay open, but you got to watch an ad and you only get access at once per day without spending pearls. But the next event is almost certainly Valentine's. Every single event has repeated in the past. So, um, and the crab also has, if you leave his script on, which I usually don't because he's really annoying, um, he tells you, I can't wait for Valentine's Day. So I assume that's what will be next. It'd be cool to have a proper New Year's event, like with full on event instead of just here is two fish, which was last year's New Year quote unquote event. Just two fish that you can only make one of. Very weird little thing. Um, but I don't know. The the hints, so far it seems that we can assume the next one will be Valentine's Day. Can't wait to see how they ruin that one because it's, it's not in the past been in good times. I feel so sorry for this train. He's just having so much trouble. He just wants to live his life, but no. His life is pain. The freaking Candy Express with, with, with peppermint wheels and his life is sheer Sisyphusian anguish. He even drives through the tree. Look at this. He drives through the trunk of the tree. I feel so sorry for whoever has to man this train. Anyway, that's the Christmas event. Like I said, Idle Vitality is king. Just play the game. Like, open the game like three times a day. Every like, you know, three hours or so. And that's really all you do. But there's how the hidden fish work. If you got any more questions, I can 99.9% .9 guarantee they're in the written guide. So one more time, just on your phone. I, I promise my site loads nice and zippy, even on mobile. It's all optimized. Oh, so honey, don't get off my table. Um, just go to sirtapdap.com. I've got guides for every, every event. I also have this big old main guide with all the main hidden fish. Um, I have other guides. You can go to my menu here. You can go to, um, you know, check out my list of guides. I got mobile game guides, PC guides, import guides, video guides. It's all on there. So check it out. That's my main source of info. Whenever there's new info, it's always on the written guide first. Video guides are really secondary because they're hard to update. But uh, I'd appreciate you checking that out. Hi, Parker. And as always, if you uh, if you're thankful for the guides, want to give a Christmas present or whatever, um, you can support me on patreoncom tap. If you've heard of it, it's a crowdfunding kind of deal. Just kind of tip your favorite creators, give them a little bit, uh, give them something back. You can also join the channel on YouTube with the big old join button just under the video. That's a five dollar a month subscription. Gives you basically the same stuff as Patreon. You get early videos. You get pictures of Parker. You get um, access to special streams once per month. You can join me playing a board game online, basically. Um, it's a good way to, you know, just show your thanks. And if you can't do that, I totally understand. Not everybody is, you know, in the monetary position to do that. But if you can't, um, liking the video, sharing and commenting really do help. I know everybody gets tired of hearing the like, com like comment, and subscribe stuff, but it works. I kind of wish it didn't. But it, that, it works, so that's why I figured I'd mention it. So, I hope you all have a happy Krimbus and Hanukkah and all the other stuff. <laughs>